Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here again with PA Creative. Welcome back to our free mini course on making Divi responsive. So it would be impossible to talk about making Divi responsive without first getting an idea of what breakpoints and media queries are. So first we're gonna look at what CSS breakpoints are. We're gonna look at the ones that come default in Divi, and then we're gonna show you where you can find them. All right, let's get started. All right, so you may be asking, what is a CSS breakpoint? Well, a CSS breakpoint is defined as the point in the code of the website where the content changes or the point where, you know, it responds differently according to the device width. You know, having multiple breakpoints allows you to show the best possible layout to the user using a different device size. And you know, another way that you'll hear people referring to breakpoints is media queries because that's how we write them in CSS. So a, a media query is a term that's referring to the breakpoints um, and how they're set in the CSS code. And, and you don't have to worry too much about understanding all this right now, but a media query tells the browser how to display the content if it matches certain criteria, okay? So let's, for example, let's say, let's, let's, um, let's say if a device is desktop like you're seeing now, and the media query says, if the screen is, you know, big basically, um, then show it with this on the left and this on the right type of thing. And that's just a real simple example. Um, but it's based on that criteria and we're using width in this course. There's other criteria, but um, we'll get into detail more on that later and as you know we come along here in the course so once you get past the essentials um, then we can look more at customizing with actual custom breakpoints but I want to show you the default breakpoints now these are the ones that come in Divi and you're probably familiar with these if you've used Divi so just in my page settings here for example we are familiar here with these three icons down here on the bottom so we have desktop, tablet, and phone. So we also have them in, in any of the modules that we're working in. And so I'm gonna show you where those are at. So if I'm in this text module here, and let's say I wanna adjust the spacing and I'm playing around here in the design settings and I click on spacing. Well, if I would, let's just show you here, if I would put some margin, which is the spacing on the left side here, if I, let's say I wanna add, you know, 50 pixels of margin there. Well, it actually is going to put that margin on any device size. So you see that I'm on desktop and it's not just applying it to desktop, it's applying it to all three. To apply it just to a certain one, we need to click on this little icon. See how when you hover over any of these settings, and it'll you'll find it in a lot of different in a lot of different settings here. Um, you'll see that little phone icon. See that? So almost on every setting, not quite all of them, but we're going to get into that more. But on a lot of settings. So if I wanted to apply this this margin, let's say I didn't want it on desktop. I only wanted it on tablet. I would click on this tablet here. And then you can see that the preview size in the builder changes. And then let's see, we are working here. So if I say that, if I put that back in, you can see that it moves it over there. But if I switch back to desktop, it's not there. Okay. So that's how you enable the three breakpoints. So we're going to call these breakpoints. I might refer to them as tabs, but these are the three default that come with Divi and they actually have certain media queries tied to them. And I know I talked, hinted about media queries. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna tell you, and you don't have to memorize these right now, but in the future, it would, it would be good to know these. So desktop, this is applying to anything that's 981 pixels or higher, okay? So if I would make that change, that it would apply to any screen size that's 981 pixels or higher. So tablet, you can imagine, would be, you know, 980, because I said 981 here. So 980 down to 768 pixels. 
980 to 768, okay? So that's where the screen sizes that have those sizes is where this margin right now would apply. And then we have phone. And so again, that's the one, one pixel down. So 767 pixels and down is the phone. Anything that I, let's say I wanted to override that and say, well, I only want 30 pixels on phone. So anything 767 and down would apply to this. Okay, those are the three breakpoints that come with Divi by default. And again, you can you can switch back and forth using these icons down here or if you're working in the builder. Now, what I like to personally do if I'm working on a site and I have it all laid out on desktop and I'm ready to optimize my site for mobile, I'll use the Divi Responsive Helper plugin that we have and I'll go over here and you see the setting that we have built into the plugin. It's called Auto Open Responsive Settings. So if I would turn that on um, and then save changes, this particular setting will automatically open all of these like that for me already. So I can go down through here and adjust everything and they're going to already be open. Let me show you that real quick. Okay, so now I've refreshed the page and now those settings will apply. So if I go in here and now I'm in the mode where I'm going to I'm going to optimize this site for mobile. And so I go in here and I open my text for example, and all of a sudden all of these tabs are already open for me. And let's say this text size, I really would like to change this for different devices. I can go through here and adjust these and all of these tabs are conveniently open. So anyway, that's what I like to do kind of one of the helpful features in our plugin. So one more place that you can have these three breakpoints in Divi is in the customizer. So let's go up here, click on theme customizer. Okay, so I really don't use this, but it's here in case you want to. And these three preview sizes um, would be similar to what I just talked about. If you're, if you're using any of the customizer settings, which by the way are being slowly depreciated in Divi no longer needed um, but anyway those are there as well all right so that's an overview of the css breakpoints in divi and don't worry if that's kind of overwhelming for now we're gonna you know be learning more as we go along here um, we're gonna be explaining more things and just as you see us working through the processes you're gonna see all of this make a lot more sense and by the end of this mini course you're gonna be feeling like you've got this pretty good all right, well, let's keep going. We'll see you in the next lesson.